War is interesting, man. I think we're a war-obsessed culture, aren't we? We're very obsessed with war. We're waging a war on damn near anything right now, aren't we? It's a war on Christmas. A holiday, for fuck's sake. Christians got together everywhere, and they were like, hey, 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 hey. If Hanukkah and Kwanzaa would stop taking ad space on the calendar, we wouldn't have to invade Halloween. <laughs> Halloween would be pushed back to Arbor Day, and we'd solve climate change. <laughs> We have a very pointless war on drugs going on, well, because black people and brown people are still here. <laughs> but it's like, you know what the weird thing is? I'm glad you guys are laughing. <laughs> because people get upset with me when I say that. Because it, like, when I equate the war on drugs as a racist <laughs> argument, people go, well, that's ridiculous, Chris. You're just being sensationalist. That's all you're doing. But we have proof. We have proof that the war on drugs is racist, right? One of Nixon's advisors came out and said the two biggest enemies to the administration is black people and peace advocates. Yeah. That was a sentence that was uttered by a full-grown adult male of our species. And he said that shit to a reporter on tape. Yeah, the Nixon administration really didn't get tapes. <laughs> no, they didn't. That doesn't sound familiar from like two days ago. What's that? That doesn't sound familiar from like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, well, that's my point. We're not really progressing a whole lot legislatively. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Biggest enemies to the administration is uh, black people and peace advocates. Yeah, I guess you do have to wage war on something that reminds you how great peace really is, right? Yeah. Waging a war on women because, well, penises get sad and balls get neglected. So. 